and a lot of people have been asking me am i going back to teaching or um why am i going back to teaching if you're looking for a winner, love, looking for a looking for supreme Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. But if you're OG, if you're a part of the Greenwood gang, what to do? How are you, boo boo? Okay, so this light is like perfect. So I figured I go ahead and film this light. I mean, life update, I guess. A lot of people have been asking me. And so I just decided to go ahead and do a sit down video um, on the subject. So as you can tell, the title of this video is going back to teaching. So all right y'all first of all let me just take a see what... mm. by the way if you have not shopped um the main attraction lachegreenwood.com that is my brand we sell all natural skincare you see the skin it's very much glowing very much giving all thanks to the um facial cleansing bar and the rose facial serum that i have on the website why is my arm so white okay there we go. i was concerned we have all natural hair care skin care body care products so like body scrubs, body butters, we're gonna be adding new we're gonna be adding new scents. Not scents, yeah, new scents um within the next few months. So definitely stay tuned for that. Is your window down? No. Oh wow. Anyways, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and get back. We're gonna go ahead and get into the subject. A lot of people have been asking me for a life update, and a lot of people have been asking me, am I going back to teaching? Or um, why am I going back to teaching? do i miss teaching and so i just figured i just answer this all in one space at one time so i will not have to answer it again um as y'all know i was a teacher before i quit i taught literally almost every grade i taught elementary middle school high school and the long answer i mean the short answer to the question is no i do not plan on going back to teaching i actually once I quit, I think, I don't know if they suspended my license, because if you quit like mid-year, sometimes they'll suspend your license so you can't teach for a year. I never, I don't plan to use that um, certificate to teach. I do not plan on going back to teaching. I do not miss teaching. No. <laughs> and I know people are still going to ask me. I don't know if y'all think my feelings are going to change, but they're not. Um, no. No. No, no, I do not miss teaching. I love the kids, but I love me more. And I just, working for other people is not for me, one. I want I did not love what I was doing. Like, being around kids and te teaching is just not what it, it, it I thought it was. Um, It's just too much data and paperwork and testing and observations and just stuff that I'm not cool with. Like, why are you observing me and I already done got my degree? I spent four years in college. You don't think I can do my job? I'm confused um and then lesson plans feels like homework so literally they expect you to go home after you've been at school eight hours and work more for free i don't work for free <laughs> period if it's not paid i'm not doing it. and a lot of that goes for my regular life too like friends will ask me to do stuff and if i'm not paid to go to no club i'm not going if i'm not paid to speak at an event i'm not gonna do it i mean that's just where i'm at 2022 is my level up year um and yeah that's that also y'all i'm not going back to peak i mean it's really it's because of the pay and i don't want to like what's the word stray anyone from the teaching profession you do what you want to do but why would i make forty thousand dollars in a year i was making forty thousand dollars in a year right my check literally as a teacher was two thousand five hundred and seventy five dollars a month and that's me without insurance because I'm still on my parents' insurance. I'm young, period. $2,575 a month. $40,000 a year for all this stuff that they want me to do. I know my worth and I'm worth more than that. So, no. Hell no. Hell no. I can make $40,000 in one day in a couple hours. Two thousand five hundred and seventy-five dollars. It would never. It. I can make that in literally two minutes. And I'm not trying to bluff. I'm not. I'm being. I'm dead 
serious. You want a TikTok? <laughs> Big slapper. I have no words. Um, and I see a lot of teachers are like quitting. A lot of people are resigning, and there's not even a lot of people going into the teaching profession anymore because they treat teachers like crap. We're underpaid, overworked, and unappreciated, or they are. And so I just decided to leave. And I'm very grateful that I realized this within my... I started teaching. I graduated in 2019, December 2019, right? After I graduated, I went straight into teaching. So January of 2020 was my very first teaching job, right? So this would have made my second year. I want to say, y'all help me with the math. I'm confused. I don't know. But January of 2020, 2020, 2020 January was my first teaching job. COVID happened, so... And then after that, I went to middle school. So August of 2020, I started working in the middle school and I resigned August 15th, August 16th of 2021. So I think I was teaching for like a year and a half. Y'all let me know in the comments because I really don't know. But I'm so gr grateful that I realized my worth and my value and that life is too short to be unhappy. Life is too short to not be paid my worth. Life is too short to you know, just not living my purpose. So no, I would not go back to teaching. I'm not renewing my certificate. I got bigger dreams. Literally. <laughs> I got bigger dreams. Oh, and um, a lot of people ask me if I regret teaching and the answer is no, because I wouldn't have this like platform. I feel like I know a lot of people that's bothering me that my skin ain't the same color. Like, let's just do this. I do not regret it. I wouldn't have all these amazing followers on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube or Facebook if it was not for me teaching. I feel like a lot of people could relate because I was really ratchet. Like, y'all, how I act in real life, I'm out there acting as a teacher. So I think that's why I'm more like a lot of people gravitated towards me because that's just who I, I was. I was never a normal teacher. And baby, because I twerk on the weekend and I'm teaching you on Monday. Period. I'm taking shots on Friday at 301. I got shots. I got shots in my car, baby. I'm just playing. I don't drink and drive, guys. I don't drink and drive. But, um, yeah, I don't regret it. I think it was all a part of my journey. And I'm just super fortunate that I was able to experience teaching. Um, and I was able to get a degree, like a job right out of college. I'm forever grateful. So, no, I do not regret it. Um, it was an amazing experience. It taught me a lot. I think it gave me more compassion towards teachers moving forward especially if i ever have kids like i don't know what their teachers are going through and stuff like that and i can always use my teaching degree and i plan to because if you don't know the main attraction which is my hair care company skincare body care company we made a hundred thousand dollars we hit six figures in three months so i want to start teaching other people how to do this so i want to start um this year creating ebooks creating workshops hosting zooms teaching one-on-one that's my focus for this year passive income and just expanding my brand and teaching other people how to do the same let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that by the way um but yeah i think that still i can i mean technically it's teaching so i can be using the degree um and thankfully i did not come out of college with college debt i think i only owed like five thousand dollars out of pocket paid that off as soon as i graduated and got my job so it wasn't a waste um and yeah that's pretty much all i just wanted to answer this question because i get it every single day literally every day all day in my dms in my comments so yes y'all i do not plan on going back to teaching um god gave me this vision and i'm gonna run with it that's it that's it and i've always known from the time i was in college that i would never retire as a teacher I always would tell my college professors and my colleagues and they'd be like, like people I went to college with, they'd, I, they'd be like, what you plan to do? Like, what grade do you want to teach? And what you going to do when you graduate? Baby, I, I would tell them literally, I'm going to be teaching no more than three years and I'm done. And they're like, what you doing? I was like, I don't know. I'm going to lead to God. And he showed out, literally. So, um, definitely spoke that into existence. <laughs> Thank God. And yeah, man, it's freaking crazy. I've always known that it wasn't my final destination. It was just the beginning of my journey. And um, it's just something that I needed to do to get me to where I wanted to be. Sometimes you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And teaching was uh, waking up every day doing that and going through it. Like, that was an uncomfortable experience because it's not what I wanted to do. And it was just 
yeah but it got me here and so i'm thankful for each and every one of you i don't want this video to be too long i just want to come do a quick update and let you guys know that no i do not plan on teaching no i do not miss teaching if i ever miss teaching i can go always go read a book to kids <laughs> i can volunteer at somebody's classroom my high school teacher actually asked me to come substitute for her class and so if i ever wanted to do that which i will not um i could always volunteer at a school or there's other ways to get involved start pto or something but that's it none more none less that's it all right y'all happy friday well it's not friday happy saturday there's so much more content i have for y'all let me know in the comments what type of videos you would want to see next a lot of people want to see a day in the life so i'm gonna definitely keep doing the boss babe series with my business <sighs> But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. And don't forget to shop LacheyGreenwood.com. The link is always in the description box. As I always say, you could have been anywhere, but you chose to be here with me. And for that, I thank you. Always remember to take it easy and love yours. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.